Hello everybody and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today we're talking about using machine learning in demand forecasting. Keep watching to know how demand forecasting can help businesses estimate the total sales and revenue for the upcoming future. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. What is demand forecasting? Well, it can be defined as a process of analyzing historical sales data to develop an estimate of an expected forecast of customer demand. Demand forecasting is essential for e-commerce, as you cannot run a successful business without a thorough understanding of demand. It will help you in budget preparation, pricing strategy development, customer relationship management, and storing inventory. What are the types of demand forecasting? The ways to perform demand forecasting can be broadly classified based on the level of detail, the time period, and the scope of the market considered. Hence, we can define categories, among which are macro-level demand forecasting usually deals with broader market movements, while demand forecasting at the micro-level can be specific to a particular business. Short-term and long-term demand forecast, where Short-term demand forecasting is carried out usually from 3 to 12 months, while long-term is carried out for longer than a year. The next classification is active and passive demand. Active demand is carried out to categorize and diversify businesses with aggressive growth plans in terms of marketing strategies, while passive is carried out for stable running businesses with conservative growth plans. And what do you think? Which business is more likely to succeed? with aggressive growth plans or conservative growth plans. Share your thoughts under the video. Let's now review the methods of demand forecasting. Well, demand can be forecast with qualitative methods and quantitative methods. So watch further to know more about them. Qualitative methods provide results that are generally more descriptive and detailed than quantitative methods. Among the examples, we name Salesforce Opinion. In this technique, the salesperson in the team is asked for their opinions and inputs on expected demand. The Delphi Technique Here, each expert is responsible for generating a forecast of a particular segment assigned to them. The team further discusses the forecast. A consequent forecast is made by the team again, and the process is repeated until all the experts reach a general agreement. Market Research in this method, surveys are explicitly deployed for customers to generate potential demand and get personal, demographic, preferential, and financial information directly from end customers. The next type is quantitative methods that focuses on hard numbers to express variables. These methods typically look at statistical data, both in the present and the past, to make decisions for the future. Among techniques used in quantitative methods are econometric forecasting technique utilizes relationships between demand and influencing factors to understand the relationship between them. The next comes trend projection method. To perform it, you need sales data with a history of 20 to 24 months. Analyzing it, you get a projected demand for a specific product category. Barometric technique involves recording current events for the prediction of the future. By the way, for more information about the best machine learning applications in multiple industries, check out the article we prepared. The link is in the description box. And how to accurately forecast demand? Well, forecasting demand the right way is not an easy task, and we are excited to share some tips for performing demand forecasting the right way to enhance your business growth. First, have a proper objective. Determine your specific purpose to clearly plan your actions. Secondly, Perform data analysis. Integrating all of your sales channel's records can provide a clearer picture of actual product demand and insight into sales forecasts. Also, prepare other data such as market conditions. Your third step is to budget accordingly. So, once you obtain a feedback loop, you can set your next forecast more accurately and update your budget to allocate funds where they should be going, depending on your growth goals. Before we end this video, We'd like to share four tips from Jelvik's team on how to improve accuracy in demand forecasting. So make sure you test different forecasting methods, minimize delays in data collection, make periodic reality checks, and leverage quality data. Like this video if it was useful. 
Which topic should we cover next? Drop a comment right now and share your thoughts. This video was prepared by Jelvix. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share our own experience on this channel, so make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.